Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a simple Hello World example using the Fast API framework for Python. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Python installed in your machine, so I won't be covering that here. I've set up an empty directory, and all I've done is set up a virtual environment to keep my packages clean. So the first thing we need to do is install Fast API, running pip install Fast API. We're also going to install a dependency called uvcorn, which we need in order to run the API. So we run pip install uvcorn. Okay, so now our dependencies are installed, we need to write some code. First off, we need to create a new file, main.py, to hold our code. Then we need to add our imports so that we can use the libraries. So we import uvcorn and from fast api we import fast api now we create our application an instance of fast api we can then use that app to add a route to our application for this example i'm going to add a route to the root of our application using the get decorator note that if we had named our variable above something other than app then that change would be reflected here so we write app.get and we're just going to set the path to be the root. This is going to decorate a function, which I'm going to simply call index. All this function will return is a simple hello world message for us. And finally, we want to be able to run our script directly, so we'll add a check for this, and if the script is executed directly, we'll tell it to run our app with uvcorn. There are several options to take note of here. The first argument is main colon app. Main is the name of the file, and app is the fast API instance variable we created. If you chose different names, you'll have to make that change here. The second option is the port number for the API to run on. I have left it at the default 8000 port. If this option is removed, it would run on port 8000 anyway. I wanted to leave it in here to show you the option to change if you wanted to use a different port. The final option is setting the reload value to true. This is really useful when working on the code as you can make changes and have the app instantly update to reflect those changes without having to restart the API. Now we can run the script with Python to run our API using python main.py. As you can see in the output, our API is running on our local machine on port 8000. So if we go to the browser and enter that address, we can see our hello world message being returned. We also set our API to reload after any changes. So we can go back to the code and change our message slightly to return hello YouTube instead of hello world and save that. The terminal shows that it's updated and if we go back to the browser and refresh, we can see that the change has been picked up. The final thing to note is a nice touch that you get for free when using fast API and that is auto generated swagger docs. I'm not going to go into detail, but if you don't know what swagger is, it's visual documentation for your API. It will show you what endpoints you have available, and if you specified them, what the acceptable arguments are, and what responses and error codes it can return, as well as some other features that can be very useful. And that's it. You've created a brand new Hello World API from scratch using Python and Fast API. Hopefully this has been useful, and hopefully it highlights how easy it is to get going with Fast API. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful, as I'll be making more videos diving deeper into Fast API, as well as covering other frameworks and other languages. If anything was unclear, please drop a comment below and I'll try to help out, or check out the GitHub link in the description. Thanks for watching.